The following charts show the changing relationship between the temperature, the RH, and the amount of water vapor in the air inside a container during a voyage without desiccants in use. The amount of water suspended in the air in this example is 30 grams per cubic meter. As long as the temperature remains the same or rises, the RH, or relative humidity, will remain below 100%, preserving the air's maximum ability to suspend water as a vapor and preventing any of the suspended water vapor from condensating as water droplets. And as long as the RH remains at or below 100%, the suspended water vapor will not condensate. When the temperature starts to cool inside a container, the RH level increases. Once the RH level reaches 100% and the temperature continues to drop, the air can no longer suspend all the water as a vapor, and some of the 30 grams of water vapor will start to condensate as water droplets, which can damage cargo. When the temperature in the container rises, the water vapor that is condensated will re-evaporate. And the amount of water vapor in the air will once again be 30 grams per cubic meter. And without desiccants, the amount of water vapor in the air in our example, 30 grams per cubic meter, remains about the same during the entire voyage, increasing the risk for daily condensation events that will gradually damage the cargo. These charts represent the relationship between temperature, RH, and water vapor in a container with the proper type and quantity of desiccants. During cooling cycles in a voyage, as the temperature drops in the container, today's modern desiccants will continually remove water vapor from the air, and those with built-in collectors also eliminate re-evaporation. The result? The RH inside the container never reaches that damaging 100% level. And the right kind of powerful desiccant will do this during the entire voyage, no matter how many cycles of warming and cooling the ship may experience during the voyage.